So there are a few new blocks in this snapshot with regards to rail and with redstone. First of all, there's this redstone block which basically acts as a giant torch which is always on and as you can see it's quite nicely powering this powered rail and so is this one all the way up to here. There is a new type of rail and that is this one here what this is called is an activator rail. Now puzzled me for a while as to the exact function of this piece of rail However, I have discovered what it is for. Yeah! Minecart with TNT. So if I put this one here, and this one here, and this one here, and stick a lever on, boom! That was supposed to tick down though. What the hell happened there? Let's try that again. Activate a rail. Detect a rail. We'll try it with one. We'll try it with a single car this time. That's better. So why did they explode when they all went in the hole at the same time? Well, it's quite simple, I'll show you. One of them just goes normally. But if we put two of them... I don't want to do this, this is very nice to set up. So if we do this, and we'll just set up some redstone so that we activate them both at the same time. When they collide, they explode. Yes. When a minecart, a TNT minecart, collides with another minecart, it explodes. Now that we know the blast radius. See, look, they just sort of push each other out of the way. But a TNT minecart will eventually blow up. Something tries to push it the other way and it doesn't get right away, it will blow up. Is what I'm getting out of this. I'm not entirely sure what purpose a minecart with TNT in it actually serves, but... I suppose you could do it like this for exploratory mining. The well, problem is you can only send one at a down at a time, otherwise it just blows everything up. I suppose you could do that. If they meet each other on a hill, like within one space, they do blow up as well, which is why I've separated these out. Because if I put one there, I did that before, and well, <clears throat> that's what happened. Don't know why that happens. Why did that happen? You just blow up at fucking random. Detect a rail. Activate a rail on the very last one. Actually, you know what? We'll take out the power grid. No power drill except for, except for the incline. Just to make sure it's not any redstone we've guffing. I'll take this redstone block out as well. In fact, we'll take the middle one out as well. What 
the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? That was like a nuclear bomb. It's actually slowing my PC down. What the hell happened there? Take out random chunks of the... What? Why is that fine? This is some Oppenheimer shit right here. So yeah, a lot of this stuff has turned into actual blocks, droppable blocks, which is what's caused the massive slowdown. So I'm just trying to clean it up. Now, in the name of science, we're going to try and recreate this. And we're going to do it at night because, well, it took time to clear up a lot of this stuff. I'm back up to a, a decent frame rate now that I've put and mopped up all the stray entities. The thing what happened was that that got accelerated faster than that one because that's only on one accelerator rail and that's higher up on a more of it, more accelerator rails. So that caught up with that one and detonated. Um, we're going to try this again and hopefully get the same results. In fact, what I'm going to do is build a pillar at the episode, uh, at the edge. If this is replicable, I'll do it inside. Let's see what actual pattern we get if we do it indoors, like in an enclosed space. Didn't do it that time. Was it a fluke? It was not a fluke. Right, I will review this footage, and then I will dig underground. Okay, here we are. I've built it a little test chamber. Literally nothing in here. It's entirely surrounded by stone. We are fairly far below a super flat world of a miner's dream. And this is my test ramp. One at the top, one at the bottom, and we flip hill switch over. That didn't work, idiot. It's gonna explode. Oh, it stopped. Okay, that's not good. Is it the narrow walls? Maybe I need to... I don't want to do that. Okay. 
This time we're going to leave the thing on. We have an explosion. But not a nuclear one, just a normal explosion. Right, we'll reset the world and we'll try it again. Okay, this time we're going to widen this. So as you can see in here, it's the same small chamber. Pop them at top, pop them at the bottom, and let it go. That was a nuclear explosion, most definitely. That is a massive cavern. I think maybe... Maybe the stone did dampen it slightly? But that is a lot more destruction than the last time. So yeah, the way this is constructed is that from the base of this, this goes up five in a diagonal, from this you've got 15 blocks of normal rail. Oh, sorry, 13 blocks of normal rail. Seven, eight, nine. Thirteen. Fourteen. So you can see how far in that came. So you want to detect a rail and an activator rail. Now if we do this again, we should get more destruction this time. Yeah, see, there, the explosion went all the way to there. Repeat. Was that a nuclear explosion? You stick some torches around. There wasn't much of an explosion that time, I don't think. Okay, that feels like it did a lot more damage. Yeah, that one was nuclear, I think. There is a lot of crap. So yes, there is, I don't know if this is a bug or a hidden feature or what, but yeah, that's, that's a fairly ominous and obvious sign that there's been some, maybe it's a bug. Where do we think the centre of this is? What we're going to do is simultaneously light two blocks of TNT. How are we going to do that? Well, with some magic redstone. Now we're going to see how much damage this does. Nowhere near as much. So definitely two TNT on a track does more damage than two TNT just sitting in midair. Because it didn't even hit that torch, it certainly didn't hit any of the ones up here. It barely did any structural damage either. It hit a couple of the torches on the walls. Definitely looks like this might be a bug. It certainly reminds me of Tekkit's nukes anyway. Sorry, Explosion Craft I think it is really. But it's in the Tekkit pack. But it's just some really odd geometric shapes. The, the, the squares, the pockets in this just reminds me a lot of the nuclear reactor exploding. 
Anyway, originally I was going to do a hopper thing today, but <laughs> when things explode, things explode. I like things exploding. Ooh, it took out half that tree in half.